Yeah. I quite literally lost where my car was. Some of the other the shops. I thought they were only happened in movies and um, Seinfeld episodes. Luckily, I wasn't carrying around a goldfish, if you get that reference. Good God. I um, went to the Apple store to get my um, iPhone fixed it because it wasn't charged. I think I complained about it earlier. Whinge, whinge. Um, you put in the, the cable in the phone and then you have to have it in the right spot for it to charge and it was terrible. And then I bought a new cable and that didn't do the trick. So it turned out there was just gunk in the phone. I had to book an appointment to see the degunkify, but they got a scalpel and got the gunk out. So I'll call that surgery. I had phone surgery. You're welcome. Um, yeah, I was not even getting the appointment because I, I went there just like, oh yeah, I'll go in there with a the receipt and they'll, they'll sort me out. Because it's Apple, oh no, you have to get a, you have to get an appointment to see a technician and it's all very classified to see one of these special, ooh, special technicians. Um, and yeah, they said it was going to be like tomorrow. And then uh, when they said that, I was like, hmm, uh, uh, hmm, uh, uh, hmm, for a little bit until they said, oh, hang on, if we download this Apple Store app to your phone, uh, we might be able to find an earlier booking, even though they could have just, I don't know, the booking's at the store, they could have just seen who's around and said, all right, you can have a look at this phone. Anyway, so we found an early booking, and I got that sorted, which is good. Degunkified. So happy days. I was kind of secretly hoping that it was a problem with the phone, and then they'd have to get me a new phone, and then they wouldn't have any 5s in stock, so then they'd have to give me a 5S, but <laughs> didn't work out. Oh, well, no fingerprint scanner for me. Evil NSA! Um, cool. Very good. Um, I'm going to go home now to... Oh... Try to record a Bane Bane speech album where he song bombs on people, sort of like how um because the thing will be he gets angry at Pitbull Pitbull for featuring all these people's songs. He'd be like, "Why is Pitbull the only bald artist who can song bomb people song?" Uh, uh, it'll it'll be funnier when it, when I, when it, when it's done. Um, so yeah, if that turns out good, it'll be out tomorrow. Otherwise, next week. Otherwise, it turned out really crap, and I won't do it at all. But it's worth a shot. Good golly gosh. Oh, it's hot now. My goodness. Um, wow, whinging a lot. And another thing I whinge about is there are a lot, a lot of people here today. So many cars. Can you see? You can't see, but there's like so many cars and people. Like, go get a job. I mean, yeah, I don't have a job, but you should get a job. Come on, people. It's busy. I want to, I want to be quiet when I go to the shops. Must be school holidays. I saw a lot of kids running around. Kid almost ran into me with his 3DS and he looked up like, ooh. Got out of the way, so it was funny. Um, so yeah, good old, gonna go home and, and record that thing, and it'll all be good, but it's good to get out, good to get out and about, cabin fever happening, can't have any of that, it's, oh, and I might not be able to go to EB Expo, which sucks, because I got a media pass, like, last minute, but, um, like, flights cost money and stuff, and I don't have a job, so I don't have any money, so, oh, that sucks, maybe I'll be there in spirit, or I'll do, like, a green screen gag, like, I'm here at, 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 at EB Expo, and then I click the light and the green screen turns off and it's all revealed off. Oh. But it's a bit, a bit crab, I mean, professional organisation, yeah, I kind of contacted them late, but they did send through their media pass pretty late, which is rather frustrating, because I could have had stuff organised. Ah, oh, well. Tibbly tuppity too. See you later. Have a good day, good night, good everything. Adio, funky, bye.